Hey guys, Henning and Morton from Flip Normals here. And in today's video, we are gonna take a look at how to work with the Z Project brush alongside the Sculptures Pro mode. So this is an interesting combination that's only really been possible in the latest few releases, but it's it's a really interesting system. So like it's an interesting combination of tools. So what we have here is we have a low poly model, which has been decimated like really, really low. And then we have the high res here. So the high res above the low res, that's important. And then what we can do with the Z project brush, well, how it works is that it just projects the difference between two meshes, essentially. And um, it's it's a little finicky to work with sometimes just because it it's not like a normal kind of wrap brush that you would think of. It only does like one plane, like uh, yeah, I can actually show it, but like in and out. So it's yeah. like, it's straight from your camera angle. Yeah, it works, it's it's all screen based, yeah. not world based. It's not a smart brush in any way, shape or form. <laughs> Unfortunately, but we can make it kind of smart. So you find it by B, by hitting B and then Z and then P for project. So if you just use the normal sort of um, brush, the Z project goes without Sculptures Pro on, on, not a lot is gonna happen to our low poly mesh here. It might move a little bit, but that's about it. So what we've been using it for has been sort of getting details back into certain areas but keeping other areas kind of low risk. So the best way I've found to work with this is enable Sculptors Pro Mode and then go in and then before you do anything just go in and sort of smooth everything out. This gives resolution back to this area so let's just do that. So just holding down a shift key while uh, Sculptors Pro mode is activated. It's important that Sculptors Pro is activated because yeah. otherwise, you know, you're just smoothing it. We don't care actually so much about smoothing it. We just care about adding resolution to this area. Exactly. So here, now we have some resolution and I can show you the difference between these two modes afterwards. So now we're on the low one. It's important that you go out of solo, solo mode. So what I've done is I've just turned on transparency and turned off ghost. It's just so I can see where the high res mesh actually is. So BZP and still with Sculptors Pro mode on, then you can just go in and then start sculpting. So regular sculpting goes in and if you hold down Alt, it pulls the mesh out again. So you can see then we can start to pull out the eyebrows. When you're working with the, the C project brush, it's important to go from different angles as well. Like if you just go from one angle, then it's it, like we said before, it's screen based. So it's important to actually rotate around the model like Morton is doing now. Yeah, so you can see with the with the brows up here, for example, it's not going to work very well like this. So if we want to pull it out, we kind of have to angle it like here, hold down Alt, and now we can start to pull it out. Yeah. And then we start to get that definition in there. Do the same here. So alternate between holding down Alt and not holding down Alt. So if you see an area like this, hold down Alt and then you pull it out. And if it's like this, then you don't hold down Alt and then you like push it back in. So if we go back to solo mode, you can see this how our topology looks like. And now we have some detail added back from the high res onto our low res. So if you, if you don't go ahead and smooth it beforehand, the C project can have a little bit of a hard time figuring out what's going to happen to the detail. So if we do it here, let's just go in. See some places we're still left with this kind of faceting. So the smoothing can just help a little bit. That's all it really does. What another way we found to work with it is if we take an example like the hair up here, let's just go in and just add some resolution a little bit. Again, just by holding the shift key. There we go. Yeah, so it's like, it's all, and it's all brush dependent with Sculptors Pro mode. So bigger brush, um, bigger poly, smaller brush, small polys. Yeah, we have a video on Sculptors Pro as well, if yeah. you if you want that. So there we go. Let's go out of poly frame. And then let's say that you've now added the resolution that you want to add. You can still work with C project and then just turn off Sculptors Pro mode. All you need to do then is just regular stuff. This way you just know that your resolution isn't going to change. So that's another way to work with it as well. The so. C project brush is super handy. A lot of this could be done with, uh, at least what Morton's currently doing, could be done with just a regular project tool, uh, the project feature under his sub tool. But it's really nice to be able to have it in a brush. Yeah. I wish you had proper projection in a brush because that would be <laughs> super handy. But uh, I've used this a fair bit for, for regular projection cleanup regardless of uh, of the, the actual project feature. It can actually be really nice for something like scans 
where maybe it's already high res and it's already decimated, but it's decimated really high res. And then you sculpt off some stuff and then you want to transfer that to another mesh or something. Then you can use these two methods together. Yeah. So with this here, now you can see now we've added detail back into the hair um, and still kept other parts low res. So it's just a really interesting combination of tools. It's, I, I don't really know I like all the use cases for it, but it's something that we, we came across and thought we wanted to share with you guys. Yeah. So I think that that about covers it for, for the combination of those two, those two tools. So if you want to see more content like this in the future, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks, guys.